So as I said, we are starting with tables. And in website design, we use tables in lay in, in in achieving layout. Um we just discuss uh, these tables for the reason that um, we need to have an idea that it exists and um, it has its own place to um, which it, it occupies in website design both but it, it with with time it, when, when we get to CSS fully we will see that we can achieve the same layout more easily with um, technologies like uh, Flexbox and um, Grid. But we, we won't appreciate Flexbox and Grid very well if we do not see the see, uh, how tedious so create layouts using tables. So the moment we we experience the um, difficulty in using tables in uh, uh, layouts, then we will appreciate flex flexbox and uh, grid very well. Now tables, as we know, is. Um, a collection of rows and columns. I know uh, most of us, if not all, have seen tables or we have used table in one way or the other. A table can have a title, say, um, title family, and there is a we 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 can have rows. We can have rows. Then the columns. Now, we can use this as the um the heading, like uh, to give the, the description of the column. Let's see this piece we say serial number one, two, and so on. Like so. Two, three, four. Then here we can see um first name, first name, last name. Um you can see age or date of birth, as the case may be, and we can see gender. So the name can be Mary Jones, uh, John Jones, um, Andrew Jones, and um, Jane Jones and the age can vary from 21 say 19 17 15 female male male female like so now this is an example of a table now you will observe that it is divided into rows. Rows, then, and th this also is a row, right? But it's just that this row now, the, col the column here is collapsed, right? The column is collapsed, which, is, which simply means that this column here expands throughout uh, all the five, one, two, three, four, five columns. So this row, this, this, this particular cell here occupies all the columns here, the, f the five columns. Now, where 
the, the, the column, each of these columns, and the row meet is, is, is the cell. We call it the cell, right? We call it each of the, the cell. And the cell actually is a combination of row and the column. This cell one here is row one, column one. This one is row one, column two. This one is row one, column three, and so on and so forth. So now, if we want to use HTML to design this, we need to pay very close attention. Now, to create a row, let me clean the board. To create this row, let's say I want to create two rows, for example just two rows, row one, row two. What I need to do is to use the TR tag, TR element rather. So I open the TR tag here and I close the TR tag. This is table row. Now, this is the first row, then the second row, another table row. So this is row one, row two. Any questions so far? Any questions so far? I want answers, please. Any questions so far? No. Okay. Now, like I said earlier on, that uh, uncle, yes. Could you explain how um, you, if you are to create a column? I, I'm not there yet. We are talking oh. about row. I mean, I think you said something, but then I was judging them. What you were saying. You said what? Speak I said, louder. I said that I was writing and not what you're saying. And, um and I lost um and I then got confused and lost. What I, I said so far is just to explain what a table is. Do you know what a table is? First and for uh, uh, let's start from there. Do you know what a table is? Have you used a table before? I'm asking you a question. Have you used a table before? Maybe in, um, your, yes, in your mathematics or in your, even in your English, even um, in, in your sciences, maybe mm -hmm. one of your sci uh, science class, you must have used um, yes. a table to describe um, a particular topic. Have you used a table before? Um, yes, I have. Yes, you have. And can you tell me, can you describe a table for me? Um, a table that has rows and columns. Rows and columns, right? Good. Yeah, they have like names of elements or other subjects in the row. Okay. Or columns. Have you seen this application before? Excel? Um, I have. You have. Okay. Now let, let, let me clean this this the screen first. Now, is there anyone in the class who are who is just seeing Excel application, Microsoft Excel for the first time? Is there anyone? Okay, no one. Good. So this is Microsoft Excel. Microsoft Excel is just in tables. Look at this this one here. This is technically we can say this is row one, row two, row three, 
four. And to the to what this is about a million forty eight thousand five hundred five seventy six rows. Now look at this A B C to the hand. This is what we call the column. Now, if I paint this guy, let's say I paint this yellow and I paint this yellow too, there's a point where there is an intersection between the rows, the row and the column, which is the where I have highlighting now. That is called a cell. And it is in Excel, it is named B4 because B column for the fourth row. The cell name is B4. So, which simply means that a table is just a, co a collection of what's rows and column. Is there any question on that? No, no yes. question. Okay. So let's say we want to create um a table of three rows. One, let's have one, two, three. No, let's just do four, two first. Not uh, just to uh, not to make it very complicated. Two rows. This I'm going to I like it. Give, give it borders so that we can see what we are. Okay, let me just remove these grid lines. I want your attention to be on this. Now, this is row one, and this is another row. Am I right? Am I right? Yes, sir. Yes, so sir. There are two rows in this this small this small table two rows here now in this small table i just created how many columns are there joshua how many columns are there two is that two columns i'm yeah. i'm asking columns how many columns are there do you know it yes or no um i don't think no demola how many columns are in this table this table i just created now is that um two columns mary like, how many columns five. are there five who said five now it was me i did I, I thought you said two. Yeah, I mistook rows for columns. Sorry. Okay. There are five columns. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. How many rows are here, Mary? How many rows are here, Feromi? We have two, sir. Two. Two rows. Okay, this is first row, and this is the second row. I am repeating this because you need to get that concept first. If you fail to get this concept, you cannot create table in HTML. It's not going to be possible.
in this table I just created, how many rows are there? Eight. Wait, oh. five. five. Who said five? I didn't. Stellari. Stellari. Joshua, do you agree to that? I do. You do? Okay. Feromi, do you agree to that? Yes. Okay. Sister Mary, do you agree to that? Hey, do you agree to that, Sister Mary? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, yes, sir. Sister Rome, do you agree to that? Yes. Okay. Now, Sister Rome, I want you to tell me how many columns Eight. we have in this in, in this table. Eight. Yes. Joshua, do you agree to that? Um, yes. I do. You do. Feromi, do you agree to that? I do. Okay. Let us confirm. Rules. This is one. This is one. Row two. Row three, row four, and row five. So this is correct. Columns we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And eight. So this is correct, likewise. So I want to believe that the concept of rows and columns is clear. Is it safe for me to assume that? Yes, sir. Good. Yes, sir. All right. So let me delete this and focus on this because I, I want you to first make it very is very simple table. Now, this is creating table in Excel. Now we, we want to carry that concept into HTML. But before we do, before I talk about HTML, now I, I want you to tell me how many cells do, do I have in row one? This rule, how many cells do I have here? What do you say that again? How many cells? Yeah, one. Yes. How many cells so do I have? Five. Five. Good. This is one, two, three, four, and five. And cell, a cell is the what? The intersection of a row and column. So this point is a, a column and a row. That's a cell, a cell, a cell, a cell, a cell. And in row two also, we have five cells. So, I want to assume that the concept of rows, columns, cells. Um, Uncle? Yes? I can't hear you because I think my internet was unstable. Uh, could you repeat uh, what you're saying? But you, I heard... I, I was I heard when the part you said that cells or something, but I then I lost. I, this is what I said: the cell is the intersection of row and column. Is 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 on the screen. 
cell is the intersection of row and column. This is a column. This is a row. So the, the intersection, this is, is what intersection. This is another, another, another intersection. This is another intersection. If I want to label it, this is one, two, three, four, no, four, and five. So this cell is B2, B and 2. This one is C2. Look at, look at this here. Column C and row 2. And this cell is column D and row 2. This, that, that is in, in, intersection of the row and the column. This row and this column. Is it clear now? Joshua, is it clear now? Yes, sir. Good. You need to understand this concept before we go into HTML. All right. So let us create this simple table. In HTML, If we want to create a table, you will need the table element. This table element. Everything must go must be the content of this table element. Now, looking at this table now, there are how many rows? Two rows. If I want to create a row, I will use a table row tag, TR tag. Let me just give you a space here, TR. I'm going to close it, then open another one. Then close it here. I repeat, if you want to create a table in HTML, you use the table element. You open the tag and you close the tag. And the content of this table element will now be the, the table rows and the columns. And we talk about the columns now. But I want you to understand that for me to create these two rows, this is first row, the first row and the second row. I need two CR tags. One, the first row, then two, the second row. Is there any question on that before I move on? No, sir. Good. Now, if I want to create this see the these cells right remember that i said that the, the cell is the intersection of this which simply means that for me to logically create this column is like me creating this cell because the moment i i create this cell then that simply means that the column is already created at the same time already defined so now i have how many cells there five one two three four five we call this the table data that's where the data is going into this is the, the first data the second data the third data the fourth data and the fifth data so for me to create each of this data 
then I will need a, t, a, a TD tag. That is, I will create TD. I can close it here. I can choose to close it. Let me just close it here so that because of space. Then, since there are five cells in this row, one, two, three, four, and five. So I will need how many TDs? Five TDs. One, two, three, four, five. Like so. Let me push this inward so that you can see the uh, visualize the difference there. So you can see that this is a table element holding the everything about the table because without the table element i cannot define the table i cannot create a table then I, I need to now break this table into the row section right which i did by creating the tr element this is one row and this is another row and each of these row each of them each of these rows contains how many tables data one two three four and five and in html you create that cell by using the td one two three four and five likewise row two has five cells invariably five de uh, data so i will create exactly the same thing five i will just copy and paste in there okay so let me move this one down yes <clears throat> so i have my table set if i go to html now and I create this, I will have this table. So, what is the data in, in cell one is one. So, I, I put my one name. The data goes in, in between there two, then three, then four, and five. If this is a, if, if the data here is A, B, e, C, D, E, and Okay, I think that, that, that's it. Uh -huh. So that means that I, I will have A, B, C, D, and E right there, like so. Is there any question? Is there any question? No, sir. Okay. I'm going to delete this now. And I want Joshua to tell me how to create this table. So what is the first thing I'm going to do here, Joshua? I want to create it, this, this table in HTML. So what is the very first step? I need to to take. Um. So. I'm waiting. You have to um do. The uh, um. For the T tag first. You said. Put the T tag first. The what? A T tag. A, a T D tag first. Yeah. You mean the very first step is to to create is to create a T D tag. Oh, um, yes, thanks. So. Fair on me. Fair on me. Please answer me on time. Fair on me. Don't waste time, please. We spent 30 minutes already. 
Pero mi. Ademola. Sir. What is the very first step in creating table in HTML? The, the table elements. Oh. The, tab the table elements. I will create the table elements. I will open up. Then somewhere down there, I will close it. Okay. Now, um, Sister Mary. Sister Mary, what is the next thing I need to do? Remember, we are trying to create this table here. So what is the um Bola Demola have given us the very first step table? Create your table elements. Correct. That is fine. So what is the next thing to do? Mary. Sister Rome. Uh, the tr tag. The tr tag. So how many tr am, uh, should I create? Well, being two. Two. Mm -hmm. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> you are breaking, please. What was the reason? Yeah, you said we are creating two. Yeah. Because of what? You're the table. Yes, thank you. Because the table has two rows. That's correct. That is what I, I want. I'm asking this question for me to really understand, to know whether you understand the reason why you are making that action, why we are taking that step. We are creating two. TR elements. This is one element. One element, and this is the second element. Why are we creating two TR elements? It's because we have two rows. One row and the second row. Simple. If there's a third row somewhere here, we will create three TR elements. Now, Back to this table that we are trying to create. Sister Larry, what is the next step, please? Um, yeah, the next step would be to put the columns in tag and, and opening and closing tags. So what's how am I going to create that? So, um it would be Table headings. No. So we need obviously we need to um put the table headings there and it would be no. five of those like uh, opening no table headings. Opening tag T H. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. We are not there yet. Mm -hmm. We are yeah, still on, head, we are still on the basics. Head. Oh God. I'm looking at the one I don't. I'm looking Aye. at the I've done before, and um, yeah, that's what I'm I'm, I'm so sorry. I think he's back now. He's back now. Yes, so, I'm so sorry. Yeah. Uh, no problem. You go, go on with your work. Right, right, so <laughs> this is, uh, I'm, see, I, I'm seeing Nigeria. We had a power cut, and I forgot to switch on my backup power system before the, the class. All right. So now let me let me just... Share again. 
Okay. So now I said now we have created um the table the table element which is a container for our table and now we have um two rows the sorry for the, for the I, I don't know what happened just now let me share again So uh, um, is is the recording back? Yes, it's back on. All right. So now the next step is, I asked, what are we going to do next, Sister Larry? Mm -hmm. uh, opening tag. I think we have to uh, put all the five columns. Okay, so how do we achieve that goal? Um, opening tag TD. TD. Okay, so we open a TD. Let's yep. just close the TD here. So how many? Um, five. Five. Why? Because we have five um, columns. Yes, because we have five. One, two, three, four. So this fourth row has five uh, table data, which is this. And the second row two has the same number of table data. If we do this, you will see that we will achieve what we have here. Let's go to the to the code. I'm going to remove all this so that we create from from the beginning. What do I have a set? Okay. You are still going to do something like this. The, this is constructed using using table. As you can mm -hmm. see. You can see TR, TR, TD, and so on. So I'm going to leave this one. That will be a great work for you to do later. So let me call this um, table underscore zero five zero three two twenty four dot html okay so now if we just follow what we did here we created a table so we have a table then how many TR? We have two TR, one and two. So I'm going to create two TRs. So we have, that is the first one and the second one. Now we have five TDs. So I'm going to create five TDs and five TDs. If I run this, let me see whether you, you we can see something without any 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 senses, nothing. Or well, let's put in the data. One, two, three, four, and five, then A, B, C, D, and E. 
Now you can see that we have exactly what we have here. For this one has border. And for us to achieve the border, that is when we apply our CSS. Now I want to add internal CSS. Internal. I'm not talking about inline. I'm not talking about external. I'm saying internal. Or what some some we call in head. So I want Ferrami to tell me where I'm going to how where and how should should I create my internal style sheet. Internal. Internal. Okay, she's not first coming. Sister Mary, how do I create my internal CSS style sheet? You are going to install it inside the head. Inside the head? So what am I going to type the in there? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I can. So I'm I'm right in the head. So what am I typing? Uh, with style element. The style element, thank you. Good. Now I have my internal style sheet. How do I know it is internal style sheet? Because it is the style element is right within the head element. That's all. Now I need to give my table border just like I have here. You know, initially this does not it didn't have border before. If I type this you will see that there's no border at all. No border whatsoever. A, then B, then, then C, D, and uh, E. You will see there's no border. Let me just say center align everything. You will see there's no border. And it is still two rows. One this one row and the second row and five Ooh. columns. One, two, three, four, and five. But this one now is without border, just like we have in our code here. Without border. In, in the Excel, right, if I want to give it a border, you saw me, I went to this place to give it what, all borders, right? If I highlight my table and I say all borders, you can see all borders, then the border will be set for me. So I'll, now I want to set the same border for my table. The first thing is that I will um, target a, a, um, a particular element using a selector. So, Boda Demola, what selector do you think I should use to target this table, this, this table as a whole, to give it a border? Um, you could in the style place, mm -hmm. you could maybe put like CR and one of the um, okay, R, like I, this, yeah, I think so. And one of those brackets that have the curly bracket, I think. Mm. Not sure, mm, no, yes, we are still going to target it, the, 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 uh, uh, something like, like that, but not, not the TR. 
Okay. Yes. The first thing is... Is it table? Yeah. Yes, the table. So I, I need to select this table and give it a border. So border... One... Let me do two pixel. Solid and black. So you can see that there is a border around everything which shows that this is a complete table. Now, how do I achieve these internal borders? That is the next question. The next thing is to target the TD, the table data. I will just copy the same. Pasted there. So as you can see, the the um, it is not appearing that we are having two borders, one for the overall table, and the border for each of the cells. Can you see what I'm describing here? Can you see what I'm what I'm describing? Yes or yes. no? Good. So now, before I proceed, uh, okay, let me, let me not talk about it now. We'll talk about that in, in CSS later. So now, I need a single border just like this. So there's something called border collapse. I want to collapse this border together to be one. I want them to be one. So border collapse. Border dash collapse. The value is collapse. I will need to state it for the two. So you can see now all the borders are collapsed into one. There's a better way of writing this CSS. We will discuss that in CSS and uh, when we get there. It's called selector grouping. But don't don't worry. But you first of all understand what we are doing. We gave the table a border and the TD a border. And without this border collapse, you will saw that each of those cells have their respective borders. To collapse the border into one, we used border collapse. You can increase the size, the width size of the of the cell of the table data by including width. Let's just say 100 pixel, for example. So you can see that the, the size of the width has increased. You can also in, include height. If so desire, um, let's say 50, no, let's say 60 pixel. Like so. If you want your data to send, to be sent, to get, to be on the center, I think you can use test align on it, center, like so. Any question? So, sure. no question. So it is understood. Uh, I have a question. Okay. What's, uh, what is the question? Tell me the uh, how you used to put the collapse again. Because how I used 
how you use the border collapse. The border collapse? Yeah. This is how I use the border collapse. Mm -hmm. By writing border collapse, then collapse. Then. Or you, you, you mean you don't understand what where collapse is doing? Um, no. No, you don't understand? No, I don't understand. Oh, okay. So you need to ask question in the right perspective. So if I d remove this and this, even let me even see if I just remove this, whether the uh, the border collapse will still be effective. Let me just remove this. Okay, so it's just on the table. Good. So I do not need to even put it here. Now let let me remove this. What can you see, jo Joshua? Well, you can just see the alignments of the tables. Um, the um the table in the cell. Because, see. I didn't hear you. Um, I said that I could see that the align. There are what? Uh, I can see that um, it's the lining in the box. There's a line in the box. Lines in the yeah, box. Yeah, the lines in the box. Uh, um, if I'm the one that that, that we describe it, I won't use. The word line, I will use border because that is that gives it a more context to what we are discussing. Right? This is a line. But in the in the context of what we are discussing, it is a border. Now Where is that pen again? Let me clear. Remember, when we gave that table a border, there is the the boundary border. Let me remove this um, border from the table data. Let me just use comments here. Now, this border is for the table. This is the table border, this one. If I remove this one now, let me comment this out. No more border. If I put in the border back, you can see that this, this is the table border, the, the, the outer border. But if you look at our model, we have the outer border and we have internal borders also, which simply means that each of these cells has their respective borders, not just the table, not just this table. The, like like um, trying to create um, this kind of border, um, outside border, right? The, you, you can see these borders within this, this table. So the, this outside border is the one this table border creates, this one. But our goal is to achieve this model. Now, to achieve these internal borders, we need to include the border for the table, for the TD, which is the table data. Now, in doing so, in, a, in, a, in, in the uh, quest to achieve this, this model, now look at this. Each of the cell, each of the cell now has border, 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 border border and border. Now the question is, 
if you compare this with what we have in our model, this our model, are they the same? Joshua. Pardon? Are, are you listening to me at all? I repeat. Yes, yes I'm listening. I repeat. You can see that each of the the, 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 the cell has their respective border, yes or no? Yes or no, Joshua? You, you are the one that asks me a question. Yes. To listen. Um, yeah. uh -huh, exactly. So, now it, it, each of them has a border. Now, my question is this. Looking at this table now, does it look like our model? This is our model. Does it look like this model? Um, no. Why? Tell me, why do you say no? Because it has an extra border inside. Because so... it has extra border. This. You can see this extra border here. Like this is this is a border here. This other border here. A border and a border. A border and a border. And so on and so forth. And this is also another border and another border. So that is the reason we need to collapse these borders into one. Collapse this into one. Collapse this into one. Collapse this into one. And this one too. This, these two borders collapse into one. And that is the reason we use... Hold on, please. Huh? That's the reason we use this border col collapse right there. So do you understand why we use border collapse now? Um, yes, I do. Okay. Any other question, please? No other question. Okay. We are going to stop it today. I will not, I wouldn't want to overload you with uh, too much information. So now, um, I will want you to create five different tables for me. Five different tables. I'm going to design it here now and I will send it on the platform. So you are going to des design this table for me. That is one. You are going to design this one for me. That's two. You are going to design this one for me. That's three. Design this for me. That is four. And you design this for me. That is five. Five tables. And I want the size, the width of this cell to be 100 pixel. No, no, no. Let me do 100 pixel. Let's say 150 pixel. Then the height. I'd say seven, 80, 80 pixel. 80 pixel. Is there any question on the assignment? Um, no. I can't hear you. Is there any question on the assignment? Um, no, Uncle, could you go back to where you were creating the 
Okay. Oh. Okay, I'm coming. And I want external. Mm -mm, no, don't let me be. Give me for this. For this one, inline CSS. For this, give me internal CSS. For this, give me external CSS. For this also, you give me external CSS. Let me let me push this one down. Let me push this one down. And for this, give me internal CSS CSS as well. I repeat, this is first table, but I want the styling to be in line. This second table, I want the styling to be internal. This third table, I want the styling to be external. The fourth table, I want it to be external CSS. And the last table, which is the fifth one, I want the styling to be internal. The width of, of the cell should be 150 pixel and the height 80 pixel. So now back to your question. Now I'm back to, back into the code. Let me close, let me close this. So what's your question? Joshua, what's the question? Hello, Joshua. Um, yes, sir. Aha, uh -huh. you are asking the question. So I'm back here. What's the question? Uh, I just said that I wanted to see the code. Okay, you wanted to see the code. Um, yeah. You, the, the, the recording will be shared, so you can see the code in there. So is there any other question before we, clo we close it for today? Okay. No other question. All right. So thank you so much. I'm going to share. Uh, okay, let, let me just snip it now so that I won't, although I can't, I, I will not forget anyway, but let me just snip it. Oh, so hold on, please. Let me remove that from there. Mm -hmm. All right, so in the absence of any question, we will meet on Saturday by God's grace. Thank you and good night. Um, Uncle. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. I want to speak to you after the lesson. Okay, let me stop the recording first.